The new Winter 26 release revealed some updates to the new debug panel in Flow Builder. If you've been using the old debug method that launched a separate tab, this new experience is a huge upgrade. Now you can see all your inputs, outputs, and logic execution right inside the Flow Builder. In this video, we'll walk you through how you can debug flows using the new debug panel. Without further ado, let's dive in. Start by opening the flow you want to debug. In our case, it's this record triggered flow here, which supports a high priority case escalation process. When a case marked as high priority is created, the account owner is notified. If the case remains open for seven days, a follow-up reminder is triggered. Now, imagine you've built a flow to manually collect feedback from the account owner as part of this process. Before activating it, you want to make sure it works correctly. With the flow open, click the debug button in the top right corner. Instead of launching a new tab like it used to, the debug panel now appears on the left-hand side of your screen. Here, you can configure the debug settings such as select the triggering record, run the automation as another user, and skip start condition requirements. You're now ready to test the flow with real data and logic simulation. Before we go any further, let's take a second to look at this video sponsor, Flowsum. Lately, we know that the latest Salesforce security breaches have left many of you feeling nervous around your existing Salesforce practices, asking questions like, is my org secure? How easy is it for someone to tamper with my flows, connected apps, and more? Well, this is where Flowsum can help. There's a reason risk and governance leaders choose Flowsum, including guaranteed data protection, lowered compliance costs, and generally a solid peace of mind thanks to the native security automation. It's all on Salesforce, making your processes smoother than ever, because no one wants a security headache. Read more about how you can protect your org against phishing attacks through both self-help and Flowsum at salesforcebend.com forward slash goflow, linked at the top of the description. Back to the video. Click run to start the debug. Throughout the run, the debug panel remains visible on the left, showing a step-by-step -step breakdown of what's happening in the background. As you move through the flow, the debug panel logs everything in real time. Each step appears as a card, showing what inputs were entered, what logic was triggered or skipped, and the execution time for each step. In our example, the flow includes a decision element that checks if the case is still open after seven days. The debug panel will clearly show whether this condition was met and if the reminder path was taken. If you're using collection filters, sorts, or performing create, read, update, delete actions, the panel breaks down the details so you can confirm the flow is acting on the right records. Wait, are you enjoying the video so far? If so, why haven't you subscribed yet? We see that 85% of you guys aren't subscribed. If you like our content, hit that subscribe button. It helps us deliver more great content just like this. Who was that guy? The Winter 26 debug panel comes with powerful enhancements to make your job easier. Each card now includes a summary, so you don't need to expand every one. You can click view on canvas to jump straight to the corresponding flow element. The panel can expand up to 80% of the screen if you need more space. There's a search bar to quickly find specific elements or variables and all debug details can be copied to the clipboard with one click. If your flow has a lot of screens or branching logic, these features are a game changer for quickly locating the source of any issues. One of the best improvements in this release is the ability to debug screen flows using the new experience. When debugging screen flows, your screen will now split into two tabs. The screen tab is where you interact with the flow just like an end user would. You'll input data, make selections, and move through each screen. The flow canvas tab lets you switch back to the flow diagram if you need to inspect any elements. The level of detail for screen components comes in handy as the debug panel doesn't just show screen names. It breaks down each individual component and the values pass through them. This makes it so much easier to catch data binding issues or logic that doesn't behave as expected. Debugging flows has never been this easy. 
thanks to the new debug panel in Winter 26. Whether you're building simple wizards or complex flows, this tool gives you the clarity and control you need. If this tutorial helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more Salesforce tips. And if you have any questions about debugging flows, drop them in the comments.